guys, welcome to my annual field trip to the Chris Master Store. Today is Saturday, October the 14, 2023. It's lunchtime as always because I don't want to get too many people inside the store because it will be too noisy. Hello guys, so first time in three years that I'm inside Peraga without a mask, it's new for me, it's very strange to be inside here. There is not many, 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 many novelties, but they have uh, managed the Christmas villages, uh, the Lemax slash Limax Christmas villages, a little differently this season. And I'm right now in the spooky section. I will not do a spooky Christmas, a spooky village, but right now I'm in the spooky section, uh, spooky town section from uh, from Lemax, and you can see behind me and everything else that this is the spooky section. I'm <coughs> far away as possible as the music in order to not be copyrighted right now. And. I will start by showing you the, the different uh, villages they have uh, installed and prepared then uh, I will show you everything inside here I will switch to the other camera right now so guys first time ever filming in 4k inside the rag okay I hope this uh, can be watchable uh, too many copyrighted music in the background so I'm approaching uh, the rest and uh, I will come here and do multiple tours, uh, tours around okay guys I will need to do a big work of uh, of editing this video once I will uh, go back to home and you can see that they always put this in the plain middle and maybe I will start from this side here okay guys so um, it's always the same I think I don't know if they have too many normal yes uh, pizza there top of pizza is new for this 2023 season and is uh, from the distance is uh, mini villages they 
I usually do mini villages inside those uh, boxes here that you can see they are at least uh, 1.5 meters boxes and mini villages inside everything and each time it's uh, something new to, to watch uh, etc. Uh, this is a little uh, c-section as you can see and they use uh, blue to simulate uh, blue lights, blue spots there to simulate uh, some uh, some water and they don't use water some shiny uh, little uh, pebbles uh, as a, as a seabed and this is the boat this is new this is for 2023 collection and getting around there i don't see many 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 new buildings yes this is a new tree this is a new christmas tree for this 2023 new collection I'm talking about the general uh, collection, so it's not Caddington, it's for every collection you want and it is for a new, from a new collection. Uh, Wagner and Sons also, it's a very beautiful building, I don't think I will get it simply because uh, I don't like having uh, some copper things on top of the roof, but uh, they are doing uh, casseroles etc. In, in, with, with, uh, um, with copper then also the Christmas uh, choir their concert very beautiful building I think and uh, the church there with the bells uh, uh, moving around the bells not hearing too many sounds from that bells but it's like that and so the the the, Christ, the, um, the tree there I I thought uh, they were adding also some uh, movements, some shiny movements to the tree, but it's a standard tree with uh, some star on top and some lights inside. Uh, Pasta Palace also I think it is new for this 2023 season and I don't like, as I told you, buildings with uh, top pits on top getting around. Um, it's not even Italian, not even in Italy we use such buildings, guys, such things to do. Uh, that's a very beautiful piece there, the stout shack. It's rounded, it's something strange. I don't know if it is a Caddington village, but it is a, a very good piece, a very good looking piece. Sorry, and as I told you, I don't like uh, hot air balloons going around and around and around look please how strange it is to have a hot air balloon going around <laughs> they are supposed to go up down up and down this is why I've used so many uh, m made by myself uh, hot air balloons my hot air balloons fleet for this 2023 season that's another kind of uh, Christmas tree Maybe it has just uh, some white lights. I don't like having it white lights, but those are uh, with uh, some effects the lights. It is still the same tree as this one, but it has something different. It has some lights getting around, etc. So I think this is the Italian corner with the pasta palace there and top pizza there. But as I can. Uh, I will repeat that, that a stout shack is a very beautiful piece usable in every collection uh, Caddington, Vale Village, also um, Harvest uh, Corner etc good 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 pieces there also another good piece sorry here I have a, a glass so it is a tainted glass and it's not the same as showing you from this side and I think I'm done with this. Some other new things. I don't see many new figurines, many new figurines for this 2023 season, but I can be wrong. No, I don't see new figurines. There are very few the figurines for this 2023 season, but I don't see them in here. Big section here, guys. This is the mountains. Look. It is extended, it goes from that corner there up to here guys and then I will get a little far from it and another hot air balloon going around and around and around and this is the uh, Veil collection I think. Look, 
Wow, this is so amazing, guys. I don't think it is. Uh, I've never seen it, but this little guy is going uh, backward, so I don't think it is. Uh, it is intended to be like that. This is a snowboard park, but the little guy is inverted, and here you have some other guys getting on the snowboard and doing some snowboarding. That guy there instead is skiing from the right distance. This is a new piece, I think. I haven't seen it. I don't know if it is from Lamax, maybe yes but it's new for me guys look this one is getting backward very very strange i think it's using some magnets inside magnet rails i have already seen the uh, how they work but inside there is a, a chain rail inside with some magnets and the figurines are uh, put there it is uh, very well done it is it had a very good effect to your villages but it's taking so much space guys from there to here just for this attraction here the tunnel also there mm, okay they are put there this is uh, classic the resort there also with some people snowboarding around and around and around this is some ski ski um, ski school, and finally they have <laughs> they have learned that the ice ponds need to be placed on the ground level and on on top of the ground. Um, but this is classic um, classic attraction from Lemax. I don't think there is too many news here. The uh, everything is not moving completely uh, this is uh, classic there is nothing from for this uh, new season uh, yes the christmas group skating uh, rink uh, is from last season another icy ponds there uh, this one is not working very well look at the penguin how oddly and strange goes around uh, I already told you about the hot air balloon that I don't like li like that and this is classic this is um, a fun fair guys this is the fun I think this is the fun fair yes that is the fun fair and a very big giant piece but uh, the figurines are very very small compared to other figurines you can see that this is a standard figurine those figurines even if they are children are very small this is an adult to them but the figurines are very small this is the problem with those kinds of attraction those kinds of big moving attraction is that uh, figurines are not in scale the carousel this is the small carousel but they have children on on the horses and that is the famous uh, slash infamous uh, carousel with nobody riding the horses and it is very well known as uh, uh, thumbs down for Lemax in this case guys uh, that is already seen from last season okay they placed something new and something is not new <laughs> let me continue so from the other side nothing okay guys i think this is the big novelty for this 2023 season and they have reserved all this section guess to whom to norman rockwell okay those are this is the entire collection from him okay and all the buildings reserved in this section okay the shop uh, the arts gift shop uh, <coughs> the other shop the williams and sons uh, the church no not the church this is the what it is this i don't remember 
it seems such um, I don't remember the name sorry guys I don't remember the name uh, but this is Norman Rockwell and this is the, f <laughs> the very famous uh, house from Norman Rockwell I don't know this is uh, 1950 with all the vehicles there from the 50s maybe not the Volkswagen minivan there but this is completely 1950 not the big station wagon there and <laughs> they are classic yes they remember you the famous painting for normal rock well but i don't know if i will ever use them in my Caddington village too modern almost one century ahead for from Caddington village but if you love rockwell this is absolutely those are buildings that you absolutely need to buy and to have in your collection okay and this is too classic for me and they have mixed some figurines for home um, Caddington that is from Caddington that is also from Caddington Scrooge there from Caddington all the figurines the problem that the Lemax hasn't provided the figurines for this particular collection so they are using some mixed figurines they all they did was to make some buildings and maybe I will go a little deeper there and they are, they have also scenes inside the buildings guys so they have scenes inside the buildings not every and single one of the buildings but this one yes this one too this one too has some scenes inside sorry I can't go very deep very deep down but they have some scenes and the sentences laid there etc 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 but it is a standard for this 2023 new collection I don't think I will ever buy them it has some interesting design especially this building here the Williams and Son <coughs> uh, with also a barber there okay but it has some interesting design but it's too classic uh, too squared to 1950 to American 1950 okay but it is supposed to be like that <laughs> okay guys I'm uh, uh, the, o the opposite way from the mountain there and this is the Santa's Wonderland collection series Okay, some novelties for this 2023 collection is this one, the chocolate spa there, with the elves getting a bath inside some chocolate. I already told you many times how much Lemax tended to exaggerate with the, the, those buildings. This is Fabulous, guys, the Santa's workshop, and uh, if I had uh, the space this year, I would have loved to have this uh, piece there with everything perfectly designed, perfectly modeled from the artist but guys, this is too exaggerated having a North Pole uh, finest cocoa there with a pool, with a big barrel full of chocolate come on guys, this is exaggerated this too is a little exaggerated I don't think buildings will ever have uh, cheap us uh, on top of the uh, of the roofs but this is intended for the children guys I know perfectly this is intended for the children and the ch children's love there this is also from last season collection so the new pieces are that one uh, Santa's stables also maybe I can go a little down there with the Santa's sta stables there hope you can hear me guys when I'm going and this is the biggest tree uh, that it from the collection you have seen from the other side the two smallest 12 centimeters 16 centimeters and then this one is very big so they have they are plenty of new flashing LED flashing uh, trees for this uh, 2023 sorry for the music maybe I will be copyrighted guys but I need to show you everything I will try to um, to edit the sound once I will get home and edit everything I filmed today so th those trees are new for this 2023 collection 
the post office is from last season collection I don't think uh, yes maybe I already shown you last year what it was yes and I don't know why but uh, the uh, chi uh, with Mrs. Claus uh, it is supposed to be lighted but right now it is not lighted at all and this is completely all the Santa's Wonderland collection guys and this also is a very good very beautiful piece there but too many me too many loud music okay guys and another thing guys uh, come on Santa's sleigh getting around and around and around with the reindeers also this is intended to be for children but not for adults guys uh, Santa Slate there, maybe I will go from this side there, Santa Slate and the, those are pieces no, the Truffle Factory is uh, absolutely new for this 2023 season so also this yes, very beautiful building for maybe the Santa's Wonderland or maybe if you wanted to exaggerate but uh, the Truffle Factory with giant uh, bowl of uh, truffle bowls there and everything lot of movements yes but I think it is a little exaggerated it's always only my opinion guys so don't take it as a pure and only true words uh, yeah but it is only my opinion there Santa's roof the bash here it is from last season or uh, from 2021 season and this is the Santa's Wonderland section guys <clears throat> then as always the spooky town the little spooky town section there I will go inside okay guys there also some new things and spooky town collection is <laughs> very 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 well designed and it's perfect I think as it is supposed to be because this is not supposed to be a regular collection but please look at the cabin at the elevator cabin they are getting up 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 and then falling down abruptly and then it goes down abruptly so here also the uh, gloom rum club with zombies dancing around etc and they have they, they always make a, a good impression to everyone and it is right because this is an absolutely amazing collection but just for one week in in a year because you will have to assemble the spooky town village <coughs> just for a day or two then dismantle it as soon as Halloween is no more there and then go up with the Christmas village guys so I don't think it's worth it but I can be wrong also the aquarium guys there it is absolutely wonderful the aquarium there also and the, that was the oh please look there with the brain there that's the brain Atma grinder it is a brain grinder guys and uh, meat grinder and this is a brain uh, look at uh, Frankenstein a little zombie getting uh, <laughs> up and down as the grinder goes up and down this is amazing guys absolutely amazing last section I think there with these uh, this is okay something new something old also those are only facades okay I don't use facades because I don't think they get the proper look the proper perspective to the Christmas villages but if you if you like uh, facades you need to use that obviously this clock tower and it is one of the um, most beautiful clock uh, towers I've ever seen much much uh, much more than the Tannenbaum clock tower I bought a song two seasons ago I think and those facades are absolutely astonishing okay uh, I don't think the new one is there Escalier Parisien yes it is there but the new one with the wines 
uh, I don't see it. No, they don't have it. It was the best facade for this 2023 season. The cathedral, yes, of course. And they use some trick to to fake the deepness, uh, the depth of the of the building there. Pretzel. Uh, Winter Garden Christmas this is uh, from last season I don't see the new facade maybe it's not there or maybe they don't have it with the wines it is a facade Italian I think a facade with some uh, wines inside uh, yes they don't have it but this is the section with all the facades also the trolley there the photograph cart there i have it but it is too big so i only use the two the two figurines there and the photographs there and the rest i will never use it the trolley is not working maybe maybe it's off with the batteries inside uh, but i like this also and for this new season i think they have okay guys so that's all the figurines but you already know that they are many many so many figurines there all the figurines for from all the collection when i was entering i've seen that they have done two more villages that they use to to allow people to get inside and and uh, get uh, pictures inside they are a little dark but uh, i think uh, it's worth it getting inside maybe uh, you will not see anything from that angle but those are supposed to be some new attraction here the, all the christmas tree the pine tree and inside here it's something new they've made last like this is a london car a london wagon okay a london train okay one express etc and inside they placed the some strange christmas this is um, sugar and spice collection i think yes this is a sugar and spice collection uh, creamery donuts uh, etc cupcakes there and this is a wagon guys okay this is a pure wagon style uh, for train wagon and you can see that they have luggages also inside this is absolutely good you can sit down admire your villagers and this is a real couch guys yes it is you can see that it is a real couch so i can even sit down and take some pictures from this angle here uh, but uh, good idea for this season and also they have used uh, some uh, led backlit uh, paintings there and um, very good very good this is uh, uh, something new for this uh, 2023 season for peraga and this is the london train and beside it and beside it you have plenty okay this is absolutely the season the new season the hot air balloons season full of hot air balloons those are giant hot air balloons okay i'm showing you also something other yes oh giant hot air balloons then <coughs> then some big 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 plane there and obviously also him is here sitting waiting for someone waiting for everyone so this is the outside section but i think they've made a good choice there to make those cards and uh, you can see that people are using it to film i will show you the next one once i will get inside and I already shown you in the opening the LED wall they have installed for this season and it is a very good novelty also okay it's uh, something new for this 2023 also the big big one there let me show you if there is something inside here and this is the <laughs> italian wagon going from rome to, to paris there 
okay and second class wagon first class wagon and they made these something through this is the something new for these 2020 inside the wagon is always the the same and obviously they did it for social purpose okay uh, shoot and and share okay and guys those are something not from Lamax but uh, you can also have them in your Christmas village yes the giant wheel it is uh, from Lamax this is the fun fair guys eh? and another carousel this one is working mm -mm, like that because they are trembling the horses are trembling and this is the carnival slash fun fair section and everything is in the back there it's not from Lamax but if you have limited space to create a village you can use that uh, Rome New York London that's uh, that I don't recognize maybe oh uh, yes that's Amsterdam yes the Netherlands that's Amsterdam and then Paris there <coughs> <coughs> Okay, the puppet theater that you see that you see in the back there the puppet theater maybe I can approach there the puppet theater in there it's from 2023 a new collection it is supposed to be from Canada collection but I don't think it is from really from the from Canada collection as the children of two modern uh, clothes <laughs> on them and so this is something new also and uh, here you can see some other luggages inside etc no luggages there and uh, uh, you can sit down even from this side so this is uh, something new for this 2023 they have plenty of things okay and maybe now i will shut up for a little and do and do something inside I will show you something then I also need to buy something maybe that is supposed that the spot for Santa's and that's the uh, letterbox for uh, Santa Claus letterbox and a very important Santa's uh, throne there a chair but obviously Santa's is not here yet okay too soon in the season but uh, they have some good ideas guys every every time i come here they have so many good ideas so guys here they placed some vintage lamax vintage um, buildings i think but i don't know if they are really vintage let me see the year of production because i know but a big amount of the 2019 it's not really vintage guys but they are all past collections or buildings from past collections you know that each time there is something marked as new like that it is from this 2023 new season collection and this is the reindeer stables i've already shown you arctic animal sanctuary the chocolate and they have uh, this in, is in euro obviously but you can make the conversion one euro one usd so you get the price of every building okay uh, the donuts uh, shop there so pieces new okay and i will go silently
so guys this is the Louisville section okay the, they make very very beautiful modeled pieces but it is so so expensive okay it is very expensive I don't know right now they haven't put the price yes 20 euros 20 USD for this little Santa there 30 euros 30 USD for this one but those are old from last season 150 for these Schriewald <coughs> and they are from the Netherlands okay they are from Dutch this is a Dutch company okay but come on guys this is absolutely much more good looking than Lamax Slades with Santas and the Slade getting onto the snow into the ground and then the reindeers taking off this is beautiful guys this is how much 30 euros for this one Santa's late 15 centimeters it is lighted because it is also lighted okay and this is so much another level from Lamax okay and a very high top level from Lamax <coughs> 89 just for this uh, small house there it is a small house but it's very 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 expensive <laughs> but it's worth it this takes so much space otherwise it is absolutely a must if you can have some Ludix figurines I've <coughs> I've bought a couple of them from last season this one is, is what I bought last season then this one too but the, those are handmade and if you see the colors are not the same this is the same but the colors are not the same okay and made and painted etc colors on the hands there are not the same as this one also the little children have different colors there and here so those are handmade so I bought this is new they have marked new but I think I have this one from last season I don't know but this one is absolutely new and it is 15 USD or 15 euros almost 60 euros but guys they are they they make astonishing pieces okay they make astonishing pieces this one is exaggerate guys the wooden outdoor toilet but guys look at the details they make at the details absolutely wonderful but 16 almost 16 euros for a toilet I don't think this one is interesting this one is interesting but the face guys it's not very well defined it all depends from the models maybe this one if it is the second one be behind it it's no the faces are not very well designed Louisville's used to do masterpieces in the early 90s uh, late 80s but now mm, I don't think so this if I didn't have already a strong man for my carnival section and some juggling clowns I would have both that but it it's not very well defined look at the faces and the face and I don't know guys the reindeer I both eat the reindeer even this one guys for any uh, for any uh, carnival section the little boy but it is uh, this at here is more for the 1950s 1960s than from uh, for uh, something such as uh, Victorian era village but they do such an amazing figurines okay adapter etc but the new figurines uh, I was more impressed last season with this one this is a masterpiece 
also this one I bought last season and you will see again in my village this was worth it <coughs> I don't know if they are worth it this season the new ones I'm I still need to, to decide and, and those takes so much space two and a half figurines standard Lemax figurines for just one figurine those were the lamps that inspired me to do last season lamps but I don't know
as you can see as you can see the normal rocker collection is not that cheap the library no guys this this is wrong this is not the public library this is the public library guys they made a mistake there this is not the public library this is the gift shop but I don't think this is a 219 euros or 219 USD but this is the public library then the Williams and Son so not the cheapest collection at all the bank town offices so for the entire collection you will spend a lot a lot of money okay the Stockbridge shop 229 euros Ooh la la. and the Red Lion Inn 259 euros or 259 USD giant big building okay dimensions doesn't it's not written the dimensions guys but this is the painting what normal work were painted so they use it the same thing but guys pricey absolutely pricey it's not bad also the, the packaging uh, with some uh, Christmas leaves there but very 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 expensive
This is the Nativity Crisp section, guys. I mean, look, come on, guys. Pizza. More than 2,000 years ago, pizza. It has been introduced to the modern world in 1900 or just some years before 1900. Come on, 2,000 years. That's one of, one of the other things I don't like. Uh, from Nativity Crisp uh, producers um, but also from Lemax when they do something anachronistic this couldn't be possible 2000 years ago in Jerusalem yes cheeses yes hams yes but guys something is absolutely out of that look guys another 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 pizza impossible to have pizzas 2000 years ago tomatoes weren't there okay tomatoes weren't there <laughs> tomatoes as you know are originally from the US the American continent so impossible to have tomatoes in in Jerusalem 2000 years ago what is this a dentist 2000 years ago a dentist come on how extensive they do the use of rock paper guys this is all rock paper rock paper rock paper okay guys i'm not fan of that ability creeps creeps sorry but if you are you can buy anything only made from cork wood this is cork wood this is pure wood a car carton there but this is cork wood And then there are exceptions like masterpieces, very well designed. And look at the expression, look at the face they had. This is ceramic, guys, not plastic. This is plastic. But also look at the price. Three pieces for that price. Rock paper here. Okay, but I don't like this brand. This is uh, good looking and this is well, well, well done. Sorry for the noise, guys, for the music too loud, but this is something original this nativity crease here inside some caves like that okay this is pure art if you want a nativity crisp you need to do it like that okay look at the faces guys absolutely magnifying i don't know if the camera can get everything but i've set it to darkest possible the donkey etc absolutely wonderful guys absolutely with the water mill there not a turning but it is a water mill some lights appearing right now okay guys this is magnificent look at inside we have seen it already last season but they have improved or something the donkey or so is moving
okay guys I'm finally out it is 3 35 p.m. I spent more than three hours inside and I bought something obviously and you have seen everything right now what was inside almost everything it's impossible to show you everything it's inside there I would have uh, spent there all the day and plus tomorrow and then even uh, Monday and Tuesday uh, but right now I'm heading home I will just uh, let a car pass through then I will go over okay the cars are pa have passed through and so uh, my intention was to buy a building that uh, but I, I changed my mind I bought another building I bought the uh, Carolers Cafe instead of a Simpson Optician because uh, it tempted me more the Carolers Cafe it is the new building for this 2023 uh, new um, new season and new Christmas village my little cold is getting I don't know if better or worse but uh, right now I'm heading home then if I have the time, I will do the first unboxing of the uh, Carolers Cafe. That is a, a lighted building, plenty of LEDs, and something more. Uh, see you in, let's say, one hour. Let me take my time to get home. Bye, guys. Good, guys. I'm back home, and it is still Saturday afternoon, October the 14th. 2023 and it's around 5 20 p.m and as i entered the peraga store at 12 35 p.m it's almost five hours later what i uh, just took out of my car and brought home some figurines for starting this is some 2023 figurines it is the hot muffin uh, seller vendor okay and it is from 2023 collection then also some other figurine from 2023 this is uh, the newspaper boy and some uh, old man uh, reading the newspaper okay and it is from 2023 collection also then some old no this is an old figurines i couldn't get uh, during the past season the paper boy with some cart training some newspapers like that it is from 2020 uh, collection then then one last figurine it is this one that it is an old figurine that I hadn't in my collection it is from 2006 and it will uh, stand very well in front of my French patisserie this is a pâtissier selling some, having in his hand a basket full of croissant, and so it's well suited for my uh, French patisserie. Then, guys, some lights, some bulbs. These are replacement bulbs. Why? Because the lever there, those little levers here that <coughs> prevent the bulb from falling down once you put it behind the buildings sometimes tend to broke at least one of them so i brought i bought uh, eight uh, replacement uh, bulbs with some uh, wires also but these are very useful because i have uh, right now three buildings that miss the the bulb no they have the bulbs but the lever is broken then 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 some leds guys those are wire leds wire led micro leds or nano leds led nano led there are some cords some strings let me open it like that and i thought instead of uh, buying some lemax uh, christmas tree with some lights i can use those multicolor red uh, nano LED, nano LED inside there. They have eight 
games, eight different uh, game color uh, games. They you can switch between eight different uh, type of uh, function of function, and uh, they are nano led, so I can model 3D model and then 3D print my proper uh, Christmas tree and use those micro LED to get the <clears throat> the Christmas tree illuminated. Okay. I have a couple of them, I don't know, maybe it will be useful. Then I have also another micro LED, but this one is 100 LED and it is pure white. I will use that, those micro nano LED inside some little street lamps. You just need to cut uh, one of those LEDs and connecting it to uh, uh, 3 volts power source it will get on then 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 new background guys this I don't know if you can find it in outside Europe this is from a uh, Dutch from uh, an, um, Netherlands company it's called my village it is obviously made in China as everything else but my village is a Dutch company from the Netherlands, okay? And this will be my new background. Those are seamless backgrounds. It means that this side here can be attached to this side here and you will have continuity. I bought four of them in order to get all my bookshelves uh, completely uh, covered by this new background. It is some uh, mountains okay there are some mountains so seamless and I will go with this new background finally and uh, I will do not I will not do sorry uh, full review or first unboxing because I reserved that for another uh, video Carolers Cafe my first intention was to buy uh, the optician building, the Simpson and something optician building with some uh, very strange bow window in the front side, a big, uh, a big pair of glasses on, t on top of the front door, uh, etc. But I, I don't know, uh, I lost the feeling for it once I uh, see, I saw it. Um, and you have also seen it uh, during the first minutes of this video. I wasn't convinced. But this one is bright. It has something that uh, it's fascinating for me. Established 1824 Carolers Cafe. Maybe you can't see it, but on the front it has this signpost here. Carolers Cafe established 1824. It is full of LED in the roof, uh, in the side, then some lamps, another street lamp here. Yellow, yes, it will be less illuminated than, uh, my, le less bright than my street lamps, another uh, LED here. And then a bell, also a bell on top of the roof with some LED inside. So a very bright, uh, a very bright building. And it is functional, guys, because it's one of the rare modern or latest buildings from uh, Lemax having some scenes, as these as uh, four carolers here, a couple of ladies seated on, uh, at a table uh, drinking some hot cocoa, maybe, and some some cookies, I don't know, eating some cookies. And this is representing some inside scene without the windows. I know it is very strange, but maybe this is supposed to be on, on the street like that. And the carolers, they will not move, I think, but I'm not sure because uh, I haven't opened it and it's not marked if they will move or not. But I reserve this for the first unboxing and full review of this Carolers Cafe.